Hey everybody, Chris and Amber here. Welcome back to another episode of Woodmere Estate Revival. Today we're working downstairs in the family room. Yeah. We're going to be completely renovating the fireplace. Uh, the current fireplace as it stands is this uh, big brick monolith. It's this huge thing of brick across the back of the family room. It's got a wood box, all sorts of stuff. We're going to change it around to make it look like a more traditional colonial fireplace. So we're going to be ripping off the wood box, ripping off the big hearth, and we're going to be wrapping the entire thing in paneling, ultimately, and uh, going to make it look, give it a lot more of a uh, colonial feel. Excited about that, honey? I am. Okay. It's going to look great. And it's also going to allow more flow into the office space. Right. And then in turn, we'll get a lot more light coming in from the pool. So yeah. it'll really lighten up the space here in the family room. Because right behind the wood box is the office. Yes. And behind the office or you know, out the window is the pool. So we're going to open up that wall, create a doorway through into the office on that side. And as Amber said, that'll give us a great flow through and a lot more light. I'm excited. Me too. All right, let's take a quick look and see what we're going to be up, up against here today. So here is the fireplace as it stands. It's got a hearth, runs all the way across here, and has the wood box on the side here. You know, wood boxes are kind of a nice idea. You don't have to trudge out into the snow to get firewood, but who wants to keep firewood full of bugs inside their house anyways? Uh, this tends to, uh, you know, attract all sort of insects and everything else. So we're going to rip that out, and directly behind this wall is the office. So once we make a cut all along through here, we're going to take all this brick out, this wood box, wood box base, everything down flush with the floor so that you can pass right through. And you can see you got a door on this side of the fireplace. Right now that heads out onto a little back porch. But this back porch is going to be enclosed and the walls will be flushed with the rest of the house. You'll have French doors going out onto the patio, French doors on that side going out towards the pool. So you'll have door openings on both sides. Right, hon? Yes. Okay. All right, so first thing we're going to work on is getting this hearth. Actually, before we even get the hearth, I think we're going to take the mantle off. The mantle's not our style. It's got this screamy head on here. He looks rather tormented, so uh, it creeps the kids out, creeps us out too. So we're going to get rid of him and take the mail. We do think it's a possibility that it's a uh, historic piece, so we're going to keep it and uh, take good care of it. Hopefully some salvage person will uh, see it and say, hey, that, that'd make a great, uh, great piece for my house. So at any rate, looking for a mantle with a screaming head on it, let us know. We'll make a deal with you. All right, you ready to get started? I'm ready to go. All right, so we're going to start tearing some of this stuff out and see what we can get into today. They drilled the mortar and put wooden dowels in there. Oh, okay. To use as nailers. So yeah. one there, there, and there. So can you just cut you those? Should just, should just be able to pry out gently right there okay. where those nails go through. The whole thing should come off. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what I think we deserve an easy project today. Uh, this might be easy. I know. The rest of it, not so much. No. Wow. 
scary. <laughs> start taking a slow chamber to the heart. Amber gets first crack at it. Let's see what kind of damage you can do, honey. Oh, break it. There you go. You tired yet? I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. There you go, get it hard. Get it harder. Give it a few whacks straight down. There you go.
I don't think you'll Having fun? Oh, a blast. <laughs> I'll trade you. I'll shovel, you take it out of the dumpster. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Making progress. I mean, I could take it out, but I would um, knock it over, you know. Uh, and then we have to pick it up again. Right, right. Can't balance it. Getting, getting close here. Got my dad on scene now. He's uh, helping the boss the last of this hard. What do you think, Dad? Not too bad of a job, is it? Not too bad of a job, is it? Yeah, I've seen worse. I'm just about down to floor level here. We've got to get the last of this stuff broken loose and then uh, cleared out of here. And we'll see what we've got left.
So behind that is a block wall. A block. Okay, but just one, one block there. Let's get it on top of it. Okay. Awesome. Folks, that wraps up another day on the job site. Uh, it was a tough one today. A lot of sledgehammering, uh, using the roto tool, busting bricks apart, hauling loads of bricks and center blocks out to the dumpster. So it's, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Looking forward to going home, getting a shower, and putting my feet up. Uh, but we'll be back down here tomorrow and hit it again. I'm gonna try to get this fireplace finished up so that we have the door opening now going into the office, get that completed and get all the bricks and debris and everything hauled out to the dumpster. Let me show you where we're finishing up here for the evening. You can see that the uh, the hearth is gone. Now we've just got a, a hole in the floor there. What they did, they ran a board across this floor joist and then ran another one across the cinder block here underneath the fireplace and then ran boards under uh, from side to side, covered that with tar paper, and then poured cement on top of that. You see a little bit of it left over there. And they had wire reinforcement in there, as well as a piece of rebar. So it was, it was tough going when we got that busted out. We left that little piece over there because we're gonna be working over here uh, for the better part of tomorrow as well. You can see what we've gotten accomplished. We used a uh, saw blade in the circular saw and went through and cut all of these bricks from top to bottom here and then started with the roto hammer this uh this bosch bulldog i mean this thing is well worth money it's it's tearing it up we got that masonry uh, bit in there and i'm just going through and just popping these bricks out i was afraid to just take the sledgehammer to it because i didn't want to damage the remaining bricks here. Now we are going to cover the majority of this with casing and it's all going to get uh, you know paneled in the end but still I didn't want to mess uh, any of this mortar or any of this brickwork on the fireplace up so we're taking it down brick by brick and hauling it through. Right now you've got an opening into the office and so you can see when this uh, remaining brick is gone studs are pulled out over here you're gonna have a clean passageway through into the office or the music room that the previous owners called it and then if we step back here you'll be able to see that we'll have an opening on this side one into the office and an opening on this side so the fireplace will be situated in the center and we'll have light from the French doors, it'll be in that far wall over there overlooking the pool, light spilling into this family room. Once we get all these beams down, all this dark trim, open this fireplace up, let that light come in, this space will really be much lighter. It's uh, a really dark space when we, when we took over here. So 
big day on the property today. Looking forward to knocking out the rest of that wall tomorrow. Stay tuned. Please uh, hit that like button if you like what, you're, what we're doing here on Woodmere State Revival. And also hit the subscription button because we'd love to have you follow us and continue to uh, keep track of our progress. Take care. Have a good evening.